Welcome to another piano tutorial. I am Tanya Bro. Welcome to my channel over here on YouTube. And today we're going to see how can we do our pages in the keyboard, in the piano, okay? So we're going to utilize both hands and especially the right hand to do this because we, most of the time, we're going to play with the right hand, the chords, and we need to have the ability to do our pages, okay? And if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe so you don't lose the chance to see any of this material. I almost upload one video per day on this channel regarding to music, to piano, to keyboard. So uh, I hope you like this video. If you do, please go ahead and put a like to the video and let's go ahead and start. Hello everybody, today we're going to see how we can uh, use our pages to practice our piano skills. So this is what we're going to do. Over here we're going to play C and then D, and then E, and then F, G, A and B. So we're going to play each one of these notes but put it in octave. So you want to do it like that so your hand stretches. So this is a very good exercise for the left hand. And on the right hand, we are going to play Do. And we're going to do one, two, three. And we're going to do four actually. <laughs> one, two, three, four. And then you come back all the way to four over here. Then we switch two chords to another one. So we're going to play uh, C scale chord, so Do, D minor, E minor, F major, G major, A minor, and B uh, minor, even though um, B diminished is the one we use for, uh, that is on part of the that scale. We use this one because when we do songs or play songs, we may end up seeing that uh, we have C major or C minor because uh, B diminished, we don't use it uh, while we compose most of the time, okay? There's like, I don't know, maybe 1% or maybe one song out there with that, but besides that, we don't use it, okay? Um, so this is what we're going to do. Make sure you use the pedal and let's start with the exercise, okay? Uh, so I'll do it very slow. Two, three, four, and then switch to another chord, which is D minor. One, two, three, switch to G, one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four, and D minor. So what is actually happening with the fingers, uh, you want to make sure you, you kind of, it's, it's a good exercise for the fingers and it's good for the left hand uh, to coordinate, start coordinating both hands. And something else that we're learning on this exercise is to use our instincts to, to change from one chord to another one. We're, while we play songs, There are going to be times that we don't need to count. It's just something that automatically comes to you once you have some practice. It's just naturally, you know when to change. It's like something inside yourself tells you, okay, it's time to change the chord, okay? So this exercise is very good for that, uh, to help us develop that sensitivity to know where 
when exactly we have to change the chord okay so if you want you don't have to count just make sure you you know follow your instincts and let's see how it will sound if we do it uh you know with our fingers like that you don't want to do what i do <laughs> what i do i just do it like that so i can show exactly uh what what uh, notes they might play but i just use it as an example of what we're doing with the fingering um so you can visualize the notes but when we play our fingers have to be like that okay just very very comfort okay we're playing a song let's say we're playing C F D minor G and you can do it something like you like this video don't forget to subscribe if you didn't subscribe to the channel already y si ya todo se ha olvidado y ya no vuelves a mi lado y el pasado solo queda en el ayer me quedaré solo pensando lo que pudo haber pasado Y si ya no te vuelvo a ver Todo huele a final Todo huele a Todo bueno.